Oh, it can't have been easy for Venetia. With you being a mother. Why? Because. Because what? Because you're so fucking beautiful. Saltburn was last year's most overhyped movie in my opinion. Now, let me explain. I actually enjoyed the movie. I liked the acting, I liked the shots, I enjoyed the plot twist, and also there's Rosamund Pike. So, duh. But if you're like me, and you've seen every psychological thriller ever made, then Saltburn is nothing new. Oliver, I have a complete and utter horror of ugliness ever since I was very young. I don't know why. But even though I didn't completely hate myself after watching it, I still felt empty afterwards. I didn't feel like it was all that. I fully went into it thinking it was gonna blow my mind because of all the hype, but it ended up just being meh. But there is one thing that Saltburn did really well that I think is worth talking about, and that's manipulating the audience's emotions. And it did it through this guy. His performance in The Killing of a Sacred Deer was just incredible. Everyone eats spaghetti the exact same way. Exact same way. Exact same way. I'd seen Barry in Killing of a Sacred Deer and just thought it's the best performance I've ever seen. Just full stop, I think, that any actor's ever given. It was just so chilling and sort of sexy and weird and real. In Saltburn, Barry plays an awkward and lonely Oxford student named Oliver. Oliver meets Felix, another Oxford student, except he's not awkward or lonely. He's confident, popular, and if that wasn't enough, he's also super rich. I mean, my nice people come and stay for months at a time. Now, this plot is nothing new, right? Poor kid meets rich kid, rich kid bullies the poor kid. Now the poor kid can either become the villain or the good guy. Saltburn decides to go in a different direction. Poor kid is actually the villain in the story, and that makes the rich kid the good guy. But what's interesting about Saltburn is the way the acting and the editing manipulates you into feeling sorry for Oliver and hating Felix for who he is, a rich, spoiled kid, but then liking Felix when we see he's actually kind of nice to Oliver. Oh, and you uh, drop this on the floor by your feet. And then hating Felix again and also hating all of his friends, especially for bullying Oliver. And all the while, you feel the same about Oliver. You feel sorry for him. In reality, we should be hating Oliver the whole time and feeling sorry for Felix. And also, we should be siding with Felix's friends for seeing through Oliver's bullshit. The film uses this cliché narrative to shock you at the end of the film. I personally don't like dramatic shock value in films, I find it so cliché and boring, but I enjoyed it in Saltburn because it was done so well and there was nothing crazy or over the top about it, at least in my opinion. But I do have to say, I knew the story wouldn't be so straightforward because I've seen Barry Keegan's work before. So I understand that if you've never seen any of his movies before, then you, first of all, would find his performance to be amazing, and second of all, you would see this plot twist more crazy and original than it really is. Barry is a master of awkwardness, he captures that kind of character so well, and it's through his awkward, shy, insecure body language that we were made to think that he's the one being exploited in the story, when really, he's the one using everyone else. It's just such a shame you got so well. There are so many ways to manipulate an audience, such as using music, editing, cinematography, acting, and even colors or symbols. Saltburn uses mostly acting and storytelling as its main tools for playing with your emotions. 